Hey guys, this is Ray with Phone Arena reporting to you from IFA 2015 and what I'm gonna do for you right now is a comparison between the latest uh, Sony flagship, the Xperia Z5 and it's uh, 2014 flagship, the Z3. First thing first, let me clear something for you. This one here is the Z5 and this one here is the Z3. As you can probably guess by this little wire right here which served the purpose of not allowing me to just take the Z5 with me all the way back home. But anyway, let's start with the comparison. So obviously Sony hasn't changed that much when it comes to the exteriors of these two handsets. We have glass uh, panels for both their front and their backs. And we have a nice aluminum frames, uh, you know, surrounding all of them. What uh, I do like seeing here in the Z5 is that, see how its frame is uh, flattened here around the sides, whereas with the Z3 it's more rounded. Uh, in my opinion, the flat metal frame of the Z5 makes the device considerably uh, more convenient to hold like this. What I don't like in the design of the new handset though are these rear edges right here which uh, tend to be a bit more sharp, a bit sharper than they have to uh, creating some slight discomfort when holding the device in the hand. With the Z3 those sharp edges are nowhere to be seen. It doesn't give me that, you know, edginess in the hand uh, but probably the most significant distinguishing uh, feature that we can see in the exteriors of these two devices is in their power keys on the Z5 we have a brand new power key now the position has remained the same the shape is different and the function also as this one here in the Z5 houses a touch fingerprint scanner it allows you to secure your phone and then unlock it quickly and easily using your fingerprint like this so it's a magical technology which works like this your screen is off and you just have to press the key and hold your finger here for just, you know, something like a quarter of a second. And in an instant the handset is unlocked. With the Z3, no matter how often you try to do this, it's not going to work. Uh, your best bet will be to secure your device with a pin code, something like that. Okay, so moving onwards, there, there is a 5.2 inch screen on each of these handsets and the resolution is also the same, 1980 by uh, 1080 pixels, uh, which uh, really results in uh, more than sufficient uh, pixel density, so everything on these two displays is extremely uh, easy to read and see. Now we had some grand, grand issues with the display of the Z3 uh, and more specifically with its color temperature. It, uh, as far as I can remember, it uh, closed in on about 10,000 kelvins, which is like a lot, which means that your white is going to be much more blue than white. So uh, looking at the two displays side by side right here, I do think that there's been an improvement. I do think that this, uh, the newer screen here on the Z5 is gonna have a color temperature that's way closer to the reference point, but exactly where uh, we're gonna have to wait until we can measure this device's screen and then come up with the figures themselves. But I do, I do believe that uh, there's been an improvement when it comes to color accuracy. Now, um, the newer handset, the Xperia Z5, is also powered by a newer and faster processor, naturally. 
is the Snapdragon 810 octa-core chipset, 64-bit architecture, uh, along with the newest uh, uh, Adreno uh, 430 GPU and 3 gigs of RAM. It's going to be extremely fast and I have absolutely no doubts that it's going to be running very successfully even the most demanding games that you may find in the Android Play Store. Now, as you can probably remember, the Z3 uh, also has a rather premium chipset in the Snapdragon 801, but, uh, you know, times are changing and the silicon uh, right here is no longer as powerful and potent, but I do believe that it still packs quite a punch. Of course, it's not gonna be as, uh, you know, blazing fast as the chipset right here in the Xperia Z5. The other major feature that I would like to discuss resides here on the rear sides uh, because Sony uh, has finally improved its uh, rear camera in, the, in its flagship series and it's bringing the megapixel count from the already uh, you know, staggeringly high 20.7 megapixels here in the Z3 to even higher 23 megapixels here in the Xperia Z5. What's more, it's, it claims to, be, uh, to have made major improvements to the autofocusing speeds here on the Z5 uh, using a hybrid type of autofocus uh, featuring contrast, autofocus, and face detection technology all in one uh, just to enable us to experience those lightning fast 0.03 second autofocus timings. From facing camera of the Xperia Z5 here, it is also going through some uh, improvement. It's now 5 megapixel units right here as opposed to the 2.2 megapixel unit on the Xperia Z3, so hopefully it's gonna take dramatically better selfies. And that, guys, was our first uh, hands-on comparison featuring the new Xperia Z5. It's the one on the left, and the Xperia Z3, the one on the right. Uh, probably Sony isn't giving you, Sony fans, that much um, to draw over, you know, to make you want to make that upgrade. But you know, the camera is going to be better, faster, the chipset's also going to be a whole generation newer. So uh, I do believe that the Xperia Z5 will be the significantly better phone. Unfortunately, no release dates or pricing just yet, but we can imagine that the pricing is going to be a premium tier one. And when it comes to the release date, hopefully the Sony is going to be uh, able to bring the device to market in time at least for the holiday season.